Yeah. Very staticky down here. Carpet. Yeah, because we all got sapped at the meeting we the last meeting we had down here. <laughs> The other thing with the live is you want to make sure that you're speaking into the mics. Yeah, you know, maybe I should move this one to me, Michael. All right. Grab that one. one because plenty of these. Brett's got this one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Is it? Yeah. Oh, you can, you can put it on your Have phone? Have it on my YouTube now. Uh, it's audio only, correct? No. Oh, okay. Oh, it's radio. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Where's the camera? Right there. Uh-oh. Oh. Smile. <laughs> should have had my hair done. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> No, I should have clear visual and clear sound, you know, the conference yes. calls that we used to do, you could yes. hear. Yeah. So it should all. Good. And then people can either live stream it or it will then be put on our website and they can watch it any time. Correct. <clears throat> Hello, man. Hello. Hi, 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 Hello. And you know the camera is right up there between the fans. <laughs> and and that sure means I should put my best side toward it. <laughs> and we are live streaming audio now as well. <laughs> Just a single uh, camera shoot, though, huh? <laughs> That's us. <laughs> so it is not so much yet. That clock is never right. This is six fifty seven o'clock now. Yep. All right, seven o'clock. All right, let's open the meeting. Uh, welcome to the uh, March thirtieth, two thousand twenty two Zoning Board of Appeals meeting from the village of Pauling. Uh, we'll begin with the uh, Roll call. call. Michael Q. Here. Freddie DeVito. Yeah. Ann Hartman. Here. Nicholas Worley. Here. And Tom Zarecki. He's Here. absent today. <coughs> Busy. Okay. Pledge of Allegiance. Okay, we will rise for the pledge, please. I, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United, United States, States of America and to the Republic, Republic for which it stands, one nation. Under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice 
this for all. Thank you. Uh, first order of business, we have uh, three, uh, three meetings, uh, three, three uh, meet, uh, minutes, minutes of uh, three meetings. 12-15, February 2nd, and February 23rd, or something like that. February 3rd and February okay. 23rd. There's three of them, right? Yes. All right, let's do those first. Uh, has everyone had a chance to look at the uh, minutes? I have. Yeah. Yes. Any changes, alterations, anything? Anything? No objections. No objections. I'd like to say that Vivian is doing an amazing job with the details on them, though. Thank yeah. you. Nice work. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. I agree. All right. Um, in that case, I make a motion to accept. Uh, we'll start with the uh, December. We'll do them. Yeah. December. What was the date? December fifteenth. December fifteenth uh, meeting. Uh, I'll yeah. second the motion. Were you just making a motion over that? I, I was making a motion. Yes. I'll second your motion okay. to approve the December fifteenth minutes. All right. Uh, all in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. That one is approved. What's our next one? Next one is February 3rd. February 3rd. Anyone have any changes, alterations, anything to that? No? Oh, All right. Uh, I make a motion to approve the uh, minutes of the February 3rd meeting. I second. <coughs> Fred seconds. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right. That's approved. And our last one is? Is February 23rd. February 23rd. All right. I uh, make a motion to approve the minutes of the February 23rd. 2022 meeting. Anyone have any changes? Second. Any? second. And seconds. All in favor? All right. All right. All right. That one is approved. <coughs> okay. So now we get down to Mr. Rendich. Okay. I think it's see again. You're becoming a regular here. <laughs> yes. Okay. You have to give you your own seat. Yeah, for real. All right, Perth so has been empty for a few sessions. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so uh, Mr. Rendich and uh, Michael Rendich and Lori Leffert, uh, 138 East Main Street. They want to put in a garage next to their house, and they're going to encroach on the side yard uh, setback along the north property line. So. Uh, So let's just, do um, you want to explain anything about this or we just go through this? Or? Yeah, um, well, the, the package that I submitted I think has a lot of pretty good detail in it. All four of you who are here have seen the, uh, the, the site and walked in and seen what we were talking about. Um, yeah, we, we considered a few options to try to avoid the uh, going over the line, but it, it really, nothing that was practical. It was either uh, prohibitively expensive or absurd looking and uh, yeah. and so this was seemed like the best option mm -hmm. a lot of options we're going to encroach a little bit less yeah. and then figured if I'm if I'm going over the line let's mm -hmm. uh, let's let's pick the thing that worked the best for us All right. and so that's that's where we land, landed and it's uh, you know minimizing the encroachment as much as possible all right thank you all right so we'll just run down the uh, the application uh, the five questions, number one, that the granting of the variance will not result in the undesirable change in character of the neighborhood or a detriment to nearby properties. And the applicant answers, proposed addition is in character with the existing two-story residence and will blend in with the other residential properties uh, along that stretch of East Main Street. Expect negligible impact on the neighboring multi uh, tentative residents on the north side, 134 East Main, with our addition not impacting use of that property or obstructing views. Okay. Uh, number two, the benefits sought cannot be achieved by some other feasible method. And the answer given is any other option that would accommodate a two car garage would require siting that would be incongruous with the existing property and neighborhood character. E.g., siting the garage far forward of the existing house or behind the existing house. Number three, is the variance substantial? Yes, the rear corner of the addition will extend up to five feet over the side <coughs> yard setback with a total of about 35 square feet of the footprint uh, over the setback. 
Number four, will there be an adverse effect or impact on physical or, or environmental condition in the neighborhood or district? The answer is no. There will still be ample space between the addition and the neighboring residents to the north. There are no windows on the north side of the proposed addition that would impact neighbors' privacy. The addition does not significantly impact neighbors' views. Number five, was this difficulty self-created? Yes and no, they say. Yes to the extent that the construction of the addition is our choice. No to the extent that we did not create the 15 uh, foot setback requirement. And that's true, but we are going over it, so uh, anyway, uh, does anybody have any, anybody on the board have any questions or comments about these answers? I do not. No. Okay. Yeah. No. Okay. All right. Let's just uh, move on. We can come back to this later. Uh, minimum variance required. And it's allow the rear northeast corner of the two story garage addition to encroach no more than five feet over the 15 foot side yard setback along the north property line. The wedge shaped portion of the building that encroaches on the setback no more than the setback no more than 36 square feet. Resulting minimum setback will be about 10 feet 3 inches. And I think we've all seen. Mm -hmm. Let's just take another look at this. And so you have East Main Street, you have the house, the garage. North garage is going to be on the north side. It sits a little, so it's a little bit forward of the house, and the rear left corner, as you face it, goes over the line a little bit. And that's all there is. Uh, <coughs> if we only have, would you uh, would you like to take a look at this? Would you like to see the? Uh, Lori, Lori, or anyone else? Who can't can see it. Yeah. Okay, you can take a look at this. Come up here and look if you like. All right. Okay. All right. Uh, so that is. Uh, so then we have the short. And environmental assessment form. We can just run over that uh, quickly. Let's run down these questions. Number one, uh, so anyway, it's a proposed 22 by 32 two-story garage uh, attached to existing two-story house and by a, a six foot by nine foot one-story one connector. Okay, uh, number one, does proposed action only involve uh, legislative adoption of a plan, local law ordinance, administrative rule or regulation, no. Okay, number two, <coughs> does the proposed action require permit approval or funding of, uh, from any other government agency? Uh, yes. <coughs> uh, who's, is there really a permit or just a variance in this case, Michael? Yeah. Well, the building requires a permit. That's oh, the that's the right. 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 building okay, the right. building department is it right. okay. Thank you, Michael, for keeping yeah. me on. Thank you. Okay, right. Yeah. And the total acreage uh, is 0. 0.571 acres of the uh, site proposed action. All right, number four, check all land uses. It's rural, and, and then it's uh, commercial nearby and. Uh, residential nearby. Right. Number five, is the proposed action a permitted use under the zoning regulations? Yes. Consistent with the adopted comprehensive plan? Yes. Is the proposed action consistent with the predominant character of the existing built or natural landscape? Yes. Uh, is the site of the proposed action located in or does it adjoin as State listed critical environmental area? No. Will the proposed action result in a substantial increase in traffic? No. 
uh, public transportation services uh, available near the site? No. Any pedestrian accommodations, bicycle routes available? No, they don't apply anymore. Uh, does the proposed action meet or exceed the state energy code? Yes. Okay. Will the proposed action connect to an existing public or private water supply? Yes. Well, because you are going to have running water, am I right? Yes. Yeah. All right, so, okay. I believe there's an upstairs bathroom as mm -hmm. part of the plan, right. correct, mm -hmm. Michael? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <coughs> will the proposed, uh, water, blah, 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 number 11, will the proposed action connect to existing wastewater utilities? Uh, yes. Does the project site contain, or is it substantially contiguous to a building, archaeological site, or district, which is listed on a national or state register of historic places? Uh, blah, 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 no. Is the project site or any portion of it located uh, in or adjacent to an area designated as sensitive for archaeological sites? No. Uh, does any portion of the site of the proposed action or lands adjoining of the, or lands adjoining the proposed action contain wetlands? No. Would the proposed action physically alter or encroach upon any existing wetland or water body? No. Next page, number 14, identify the typical habitat areas that occur on or likely to be found on the project site. It's suburban. Okay. All right. uh, does the site of the proposed action contain any species of animals or associated habitats listed by the state or federal government as threatened or endangered? No. No bog turtles. We used to have Fire bog stairs. turtles all the time. Bog turtles. Okay. Uh, is the project site located in the 100-year flood plan? No. Will the proposed action create stormwater discharge from uh, point or non-point sources? No. Stormwater discharge flow to adjacent properties? No. Will stormwater discharges be directed to established conveyance systems, runoff, storm drains? No. Does the proposed action include construction or other activities that would result in the impoundment of water or other liquid retention pond, water lagoon, waste lagoon, dams, no lagoons, no, no, nothing. Has the site proposed action or an existing adjoining property been the location of an active or closed solid waste management facility? If yes, describe. No, nothing, no, solid waste facilities. Has the site proposed action or an adjoining property been the subject of remediation? Ongoing or completed for hazardous waste? No. All right. Anybody have any questions or issues with any of these? No, those answers okay. don't seem accurate. All right. Now, the next thing we have is a short environmental assessment form uh, impact statement. This is to be completed by the lead agency. We don't have a lead agency. So, no, we're not the lead agency or anything. So, we can just skip that. And the last thing is determination, short environmental assessment form, part three, determination of significance. That's nothing. We don't have anything there. Correct? I don't think we, nothing to that. All right. All right. Uh, all right, then we have all the drawings. Sketches, everything you see the laundry room, the utility room, there's, there's an aerial view of everything. Does anyone have any questions? Anything? Anything? All right. Uh, uh, well, I think at this point I would uh, make a motion to open the public hearing. Is there any comments from the floor? I'll second that motion okay. to open the public hearing. All in favor? Aye. 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 Public hearing is open. You're the public. Anybody? <laughs> no, I don't have anything. No, no, just need that. No. All right. And spoken. All right. Uh, in that case, I make a motion to close the public hearing. I'll second that. Okay. Uh, all in favor? Closing Aye. the public hearing? All right. All right, public hearing is closed. All right, uh, would anybody like to 
Anything about this? How they feel about it? Uh, what you think about the project? Uh, um, looks to me like uh, Mr. Rendish here is trying to make this work so that it is aesthetically uh, appropriate for that area. I, I took a look at the site as well, and it, it's, it seems to be quite true that either making the garage way forward of the home or way in the back would be the only way around this. Mm -hmm. uh, my, my view of this encroachment is a triangular piece. Uh, and at most, it's less than five feet over the line, but then uh, within about half of the length of the garage, it is within the, the realm of the setbacks that are required as well. So it doesn't seem to be a very large amount of the building that's over, and what is is less than five feet over. Um, I think that this is probably about the best design that one could come up for a two-car garage on that space. Um, I'm also encouraged to, know, to see that Mr. Rendish, although he's had many concerns about projects nearby, is choosing to stay in Pauling and improve yeah, his property rather than that. throw in the towel because of any frustrations he may have had. All right, anyone else? Uh, yeah, and we've, uh, I know we approved other garages. We approved one on uh, Grandview Avenue some years ago. Uh, Remember that one? Yeah. And actually, the garage, I think, made the house, the whole lot, look much better mm -hmm. because cars were not this visible. Other things like lawnmowers and different household supplies, lawn supplies and things are now in the garage. The garage matched the house. It looked great. It looked great. Uh, I couldn't believe it. So just because you're putting up a building doesn't mean it's something negative. It can really benefit the neighborhood because uh, it, it gets all these things that are kind of cluttering up the neighborhood uh, and the, the property gets it enclosed in uh, the lower garage. Uh, so does anyone uh, have anything further to say on this? All right, uh, would someone like to make a motion to approve this? I'll make a motion to approve the variance as right. requested by Mr. Rendish. Uh, do we have a second? I'll second. For a second. Any discussion? All right, then uh, all in favor? Aye. All right. Aye. Okay. Unanimous. You're Thank approved. You. Thank you very Get much. Get to work. Okay. Get to work. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Your yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Thank you very much. And should we make a motion to uh, adjourn? Yes, I think, uh, unless, is there nothing else anybody wants to discuss, I guess? Is there any other business? I think there's any, we'll any other business before us. Mm -hmm. Do I hear a motion to adjourn? I'll make a motion to adjourn tonight. Have a second? Second. All right, all in favor? Aye. 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 All right, we are adjourned. <laughs>